Hello out there, David with Zelectric here, and this is our Zelectric Gia. It's a 1969 Carmen Gia, totally my most favorite VW model. Um, I had a 66 years ago and just loved bombing up and down the coast, uh, out to Stinson Beach in Northern California. You could hear me coming a mile away, but uh, not so with this one because it's uh, pretty smooth and stealthy. And uh, it's also the first car we did using Tesla batteries. The great thing about the Gia design is that extra long hood. We dished the spare and uh, filled the front trunk with a battery pack. These battery modules were made by Tesla for the Mercedes Smart Cars a few years ago. Uh, we also tucked some in behind the rear seat and uh, this car has a 36 kilowatt hour battery pack giving it about 150, 140, 150 mile range. Other than the uh, larger battery pack, the build is pretty similar to what we've done in the Beatles. We have disc brakes, radial tires, upgraded suspension, regen braking. Uh, here we added adjustable spring plates in the rear to really dial in the, the ride height. Um, LED lights all around, uh, the same 85 horsepower AC motor. We're keeping it very 1969 inside here. We got the uh, wonderful wood grain plastic dash. And let's see, plastic covered window cranks, a vinyl covered steering wheel. I mean, our, our client definitely wanted to keep that. What you don't see is a custom two-speed IRS transaxle. Uh, there's only two gears in this car, just a high and a low. Um, more like two and a half and four and a half. You really don't need to shift until about 40, 45. Uh, so around town, there's really no shifting at all. Um, and with that 120, the, the electric motor has 120 pound-feet of torque. So you can head up a steep hill from a dead stop with totally no hesitation at all. It just takes right off. Um, and then reverse is done with a switch on the dash. It's super easy to drive. <laughs> That's our little pedestrian warning bell. Um, let me see what else is in this car. Uh, we have an electric heater. We have a glove box mounted electric hood opener. Um, I was even, even able to find this little correct piece of plastic that holds the rear seat up. I mean, it seems like there's a different retainer for the rear seat in every other year of the Carmen Ghia. We really spend hours and hours going through these cars, just making sure every little uh, feature works properly. I even have a specialist who only does VW keys and locks and um, another guy that I call the horn whisperer. I, I think we've only had a couple cars come in with a working horn. Every model seems uh, to be wired differently. Every year is a little bit different somehow. Uh, but somehow he gets them all working again. This car came from Nebraska. We sourced it for our client after searching for months. Um, you know, we're finding better cars these days outside of California. This one only had two owners. It did need some paint and mechanical fixes and uh, we sorted all that out. So now we have a cool, quick, quiet California cruiser. Thanks for watching this far. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. You can also email me, david at zelectric.com. Uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel and check out our Twitter, our Instagram, and Facebook. Um, and check out our Pinterest page. We were just featured on a French TV show and a German automotive magazine. Um, they're in German and French. I'm guessing it's all good. Hope so. Uh, see you later. Si ce n'est un amour sans borne pour le combi, a fait ce que Volkswagen cherche à faire depuis 15 ans en remplaçant le petit moteur thermique par son équivalent électrique.